on today's vlog, we Friday, which is all right. got all the stuff done that we didn't do the rest of the day. were like the most exciting day of the week because it meant that the weekend was coming. Two things have shifted for me. One, when you are responsible for your own livelihood, you can't let down clients and just let work not happen and just go into the weekend and just be like, ah, eh, whatever, it doesn't matter, I'll do it on Monday. You need to finish your stuff. So Friday is typically catching up on all the things that you haven't done yet. The other thing is I actually really enjoy what I do. So. I don't dread Mondays and don't love Fridays so much. There's actually lots of times where it's like Sunday, I'm like, oh, I can't wait for Monday. So I think that's the shift though. It wasn't certainly always like that. And just probably mostly since I've been out on my own here. And that's good. Email. Wait, sorry. I shouldn't say it's because I'm out on my own. It's because I found something that really fits who I am and what I love to do. And you can totally find that in a job somewhere. So find a job that fits you and you'll be happy just looking at some YouTube comments, and honestly, this doesn't make me sad. It makes me actually kind of happy, but I'm starting to get some negative comments on my videos of people like, oh, you're just trying to be Casey Neistat, or what's the other one? Anyway, apparently the haters have shown up, and that's good, because that means I think typically you're doing something right. If everybody likes you, that means that nobody really, really loves you, and maybe nobody hates you, but then what good is that? You're not really doing anything amazing, so I hope to do something amazing, but I will, I will say this, I will say this. I've been hugely influenced by a guy like Casey Neistat, but I'm in the process of trying to figure out what's Justin Rebus about and how does he tell stories and what kind of things do I like and not like, and it's definitely a process and a journey, and I think we all start by, you know, using a lot of the ideas from the people that inspire us, and then we kind of find our own path, so maybe I'm finding my own path. Who knows? I think my thing is always drinking stuff that's way too hot or eating stuff that's way too hot. Hot. All right, we are off to a photo shoot. But I'll tell you, I'm feeling very fortunate today because Last night, I had left some of my gear in the car. I took in all my expensive like camera equipment and flashes and stuff, but just some stands and a tripod. And my mom came by this morning. She said, your car door is open, which typically means I left my car unlocked. Somebody went through my car. And I was quite nervous that they had taken my stands or my expensive tripod. But what do you know? It all worked out. They didn't take anything at all. So I don't know what they were looking for. Maybe money, maybe some drugs, I don't know, it doesn't matter, it really doesn't matter, but it all worked out. Or maybe somebody came by just as they were about to take something and yelled at them, who knows. When you're a creative type, lots of things come and go from your head. And every once in a while you get a thought that makes you feel awful because you've forgotten something just a little bit important. Like for example when I was driving and was thinking about how it's actually Megan's 30th birthday on Sunday and we're having a party and we're going to be doing some things and I was thinking about things like that and then I remembered something. Somebody has not got her a present yet <laughs> oh my god and it's Friday afternoon and her birthday's on Sunday and I'm working today and we have kids and we have to shop for the party and then I have to finish the backyard tomorrow and have a party and her birthday's on Sunday oh my god parkade mall let's do this can't bring you because my wife will probably watch this before her birthday so can't show you what I'm gonna do. I'll show you later. I may have just spent a little 
little bit more money than I was planning on, but hey, you only turn 30 once, right? Oh. And I did buy myself a pair of pants, too. Oh, Hey, hey, coming together. Coming together pretty well, I would say. Hey, not bad. Coming together well, I would say. Anyway, let's do some Q&A. Roll the intro. Hey, not bad. Coming together well, I would say. Anyway, let's do some Q&A. Roll the intro. <laughs> First question, Cassia, how did you and Megan meet? That is a really long story. I'll give you the really, really super condensed version. I was in love with Megan for five years. She could not stand me. But we had all the same friends and did all the same things. She wrote me a letter that basically said I need to get over her, it was never gonna happen. I tried to move on, then she fell in love with me, and the rest is history. Jaden, what is your favorite shirt? This one? No, I don't know. I like all of my long t-shirts. I did get this like new charcoal-y one. It's nice. Samantha asks, how did you get your snap filter and will you be doing that again? Okay, so anybody can make their own snap filter. Uh, it's basically just a, like an image that you design. You do have to pay to drop it in places though. So for my contest, I basically was paying $5 for each school to drop it on your schools and then buying you guys t-shirts to give away after you use my Snapchat filter. It cost me like 150 bucks that day. But anyway, love you guys. I appreciate all your support. So I was happy to do it. Yes, we we're gonna do it again. Should we do it again? Probably before school's out, right? Rylan, what's one thing you think that is the key to success? I guess people skills? I would say if I have a superpower, it's that I can find common ground with anybody. And a big piece of that is empathy and that I, I feel for people. Like there's really nobody in the world that I hate or am super angry with. I would say for me, it's my people skills that has definitely got me where I am today is just my ability to kind of build relationships and have really good relationships with people. Hard work's the other one. Sierra asks, what was your favorite school subject? Hmm, that's, I guess that's actually a really good question. I'm a musical guy, so in some ways I liked choir, but I wasn't a very good singer, so that was a little bit of a challenge. Patrick asks, what's the furthest you've ever traveled by car? Five years ago, Megan and I drove from here to Victoria, BC, which is about, I don't know, 3,000 kilometers, 3,500 kilometers. And then we dropped in the States and drove back. That's probably one of the longest road trips, about 7,000 kilometers. I did go to school. We drove down to like Phoenix, Arizona, and that was probably similar in length, but that wasn't by car. That was by an old bus where the air conditioning was broken when we went to the Grand Canyon. And it was 45 degrees out in this old aluminum bus with broken air conditioning. I nearly lost my mind. <laughs> My wife asked one on behalf of Odin because he wanted to ask him Q&A. Are you scared of spiders and snakes? I probably am. I really, I'm not a fan of spiders. And if a snake was coming at me, I would probably just run. Are they cool? They are super cool because I'm afraid of them. So that means that they are super awesome. Anyway, I think that's it for Q&A. It's as many questions as I could fit in given the time that I had. Thank you. Keep submitting them. If you got some now, just submit them. I'll try and screenshot them. If I didn't get to yours, I'm sorry. Keep asking. I'll get to them. Anyway, Megan should be home any minute and then we can go for a boosted board ride. All right, you guys, here's the deal. Megan may not be back for a little bit. I'm not sure when, so what we're gonna do is uh, see what skateboard tricks I can still do. Probably not many, but shot.
things I had forgotten about skateboarding. One, how much exercise and hard breathing you do. Two, how much it hurts. Oh, my ankles. Terrible, but literally, the last time I tried to do a kickflip was probably 2006, 2007, 10 years.